Hi, Jason Keeler here, the Property Review Show. Please subscribe and like to this channel. It'd be great. Thank you very much indeed. And welcome to the show. We review properties here and around the world every week. And today we're in Scotland, just below Dundee. You can see it there, Dundee. Uh, just below, we are in a place called Fife. In a place called Fife, there's Edinburgh. And let's zoom the map out a bit more and you can see the scale of the UK. We see uh, Scotland up here. So we're Dundee, Edinburgh, down to Glasgow, and then down to uh, Manchester in the distance down the bottom here. So that gives you an idea. Let's uh, show you London if you're not familiar with that. Uh, London's down there. So there we have it. London, UK, all the way up to Edinburgh in Scotland, and then Fife, which is just below Dundee. So there we have the location. Let's go to Earlshall, or should I say Earlshall Castle in Fife, and take a look at this uh, super home. And there it is. What say you, ladies and gentlemen? What say you? It is your own castle in Fife, Lord of Fife Castle. And uh, there we have this stunning home. Loving the creepers up the side here, the ivy. Look at this. Isn't this absolutely beautiful? All the different colors. We've got dormer windows. We've got the flag of UK, the British flag. And uh, we see the shingle roof and more. It just is stunning. Wait till you see the back garden. And we can see a sneak preview on the left there. It is simply incredible. What are we looking at? We're looking at uh, quite a bit of money. We're looking at uh, 9.8 million USD or 8,000 pounds. And we've got eight reception rooms, 10 bedrooms, three cottages, and some woodlands as well. So very, very nice indeed. Any other descriptions on the history? Yes, there's a stack of history. Robert Mackenzie from Perth in Scotland purchased the castle 1890, employed a young Robert Lorimer to carry out the restoration. And that was when the restoration was done. And the garden is over 125 years old. Originally built for uh, King Robert de Bruce. Yes, famous. Sir William Bruce began building the castle in 1546. And there we have some of the background on it. But just exceptional. Look at that. Another angle view there. Loving the garden here. The gatehouse at the front. The gate just there. Protecting the estate. And look at the rear garden. Look at this. Oh, yes, this is rather exceptional, exquisite. Look at the landscaping here. Imagine looking after that each week. That would be a tiresome duty, but a beautiful result. Lovely cottage here, stunning on the back. And look at this, 1830-something or other to 2003 is the garden over there. A nice shot of that work. Now, look at this. Look at the ceiling, the detail here, the painted detail on those wood panels. Just exquisite with a curvature in the ceiling and some famous folks, uh, Scottish folks here painted on the wall as well. There's a lovely dog here, probably owned by one of the owners. And then the tartan floor to go with Scotland. Stacks of books, big library, big dining table and more. Obviously a repurposed room to some degree. All the military work here and an amazing uh, uh, candelabra come chandelier, I guess we could say, from yesteryear. It's rather, <laughs> rather exquisite, isn't it? What a beautiful beautiful home this is timber everywhere of yesteryear out of my league on the historic detail for sure but uh, people viewing may have some idea on some of these items but this is like a military room here a writing bureau we've got all the family here we've got the family crest as well just here Fam big big thing in scotland the family crest your family history and more this is quite unique isn't it this piece as well we've got the sash window and the family crest on the ceiling. Wow, we that looks pretty awesome as well. Into uh, the, I love these cannons here. Can you see those cannons down there on the left? They are cute to boot. And then a glass uh, lamp here. Actually, that could be silver. It looks like glass here and silver down here, but uh, that would be closer inspection for that one. But a beautiful home, fireplace, wood paneling throughout, just exquisite. Into the study. And we've got more military history here. Looks like the person's associated with the military. Yes, we've got someone in a hat over here. Military beret. Uh, just a beautiful... Then we've got an Acer computer snuck in between all the history as well. And here we see some... Um, looks like these lamps have been made from some military items for sure. <laughs> Into a bedroom and look at the old style... Uh, old style beams here painted. This will be yesteryear... Uh, design from Scotland 
and the wood paneling all around looking for a secret door can you see a secret door there that's the sort of room that has them and then exquisite look at this again what a great angle here of this uh, incredible roof style and the wood paneling there yes indeed there's a lot going on in here this is like a an ancient house here because this looks like it's almost dressed for with this king here and king henry is that and one of his wives and uh, more so pretty impressive place and uh, into the kitchen and just quite extraordinary colors uh, this teal sort of blue against the yellow and a big skylight above so pretty impressive house overall old style uh, table solid wood in there then we've got the uh, wildlife arrived inside and lots of things in here but of course this has probably been a home of many many years possibly passed down through the family amazing well possibly the family crest on there the gate entrance here big gate and this reminds me of a movie i mean it really is yesteryear uk scotland in fife looking so good at 9.8 million us dollars and of course there's a bit of upkeep here of course with this type of home but it is a lovely lovely example look at the gate here just exquisite the hive walls to protect the estate from looters and so forth back in the day and there's all our hedge work and amazing sculpted garden with the scottish flag up the top just beautiful look at that shot just wonderful isn't it exceptional and that is why touring the uk and going on a holiday into the uk is a good idea to see all of this amazing history cannon down here on the fence line yeah just so good gatehouse cottage main house just simply beautiful it is really lovely look at the grounds as well we're on quite a lot of acres and woodlands too if you want to do a wedding or something or some sort of event there's a marquee they put up as well so fantastic on with savills this time and uh, 53 acres of land 16th century houses in scotland's world famous garden beautifully restored by robert lorimer and just just wonderful what an amazing property hope you enjoyed that i'm jason keeler with the property review show looking at properties here and around the world each week and we better finish leaving that on that picture because that is just wonderful thanks for watching please subscribe and like thank you to help us build this channel up i'll catch you on the next video thanks for watching from scotland bye for now